Hi friends, thank you so much for joining me for our story time today. I will be reading Turtles Penguin Day. Um, this book is written by Valerie Gorbachev and I am reading this with the kind permission of Alfred A. Knopf Publishing. So let's get started. One night, Father Turtle read Little Turtle a story about penguins. When Little Turtle fell asleep, he dreamed he was a penguin. He played on the ice and dove in the water and swam and splashed with the other penguins. In the morning, Little Turtle decided he wanted to be a penguin. He put on his red slippers and waddled from side to side. After breakfast, Little Turtle had an idea. He went up to the attic and found his grandfather's black jacket in an old chest, and he put it on. Now I look like a real penguin, said Little Turtle, staring at himself in the mirror. Hurry up, honey, said Mother Turtle, or you'll be late for school. I'm ready, said Little Turtle. You can't go to school in that funny costume, said Mother Turtle. It's not a funny costume, said Little Turtle. I'm a penguin. And then he put the book about penguins in his backpack and waddled outside to the school bus. Hello, Little Turtle, called the kids on the school bus. Great costume. Thank you, said Little Turtle. I'm a penguin from the South Pole. Miss Dog, look, cried the children when they got to school. We have a penguin in our class. Oh my, said Miss Dog. Why do you look like a penguin today, little turtle? Because Daddy read me this book about penguins last night, said little turtle. I love penguins. I love waddling from side to side like penguins do. I love sliding on my belly like penguins do. I even love to sleep standing up like penguins do, said Little Turtle. I don't know if I'd like sleeping standing up, would you? We want to be penguins too, cried all the children. So while Miss Dog read to them from the penguin book, they all tried to pass balls to each other using just their feet, the way penguins do with their eggs. And when they had recess, Little Turtle and his friends slid down the slide on their bellies, pretending they were penguins sliding on the ice. During music time, they all danced a waddling penguins dance. And at nap time, all of them dreamed penguin dreams. How was school today? asked Mother Turtle when Little Turtle came home. We had a penguin day, said Little Turtle. It was great. That night, Little Turtle ate fish-shaped crackers with dinner because penguins love fish. And before he went to sleep, Little Turtle brushed his penguin beak. Even when Little Turtle got into bed, he still pretended to be diving and swimming with his penguin friends. Then Father Turtle brought a new bedtime story to read. This is the story of a little monkey who lives in a beautiful jungle, he said. Really, said Little Turtle, a monkey? Uh-oh, what do you think he's gonna dream of now? And when Little Turtle fell asleep that night, he dreamed he was a funny little monkey. What do you think tomorrow? Do you think he's going to try to have a monkey day tomorrow? I don't know. The end. I hope you enjoyed our story today. Um, and join me for next week. I have another craft for you. We are going to be making frisbees out of paper plates. So make sure to hop on next week. 
and um, I'll have the instructions ready for you. And until next time, like always, be safe, stay healthy, and be kind.